Hey guys, what's up? My name is John. I'm a former flight attendant turn travel professional. Today we have a, another glitter and lasers react before bagel gate even happened. I have been working through her travel content and doing some just like retro reacting and going back and looking at her travels. I think it's really fun to do that. And then as we're looking back, we're seeing some behaviors that we're calling out and seeing how things that she goes through could be absolutely avoidable on your trip that you're going on. I noticed going through her videos that she has, she didn't actually make it a series, but she did quite a few videos of shopping in so-and-so destination. And I can only imagine that shopping for her in other countries did not go well because she is not the norm. Not saying that that's bad or anything. I just feel like she's setting herself up for a not so good time. There are a lot of tips that you guys can take when you're shopping in another country. And I'm actually making a whole other video on this. So hopefully I will be able to get that up kind of coinciding with this video as well, because there are definitely a few things you want to take. I think some of them are going to come up in this video as well, so we can chat about them. But also looking back now, I think we're going to see some of the behaviors that people are starting to call out now and see that they have actually been going on for a while. And you can really see that happening through her past like travel videos. There was a video that came out of her in Target and shopping in Target and very disruptive during that. Um, a lot of people were critiquing that video. When I was skimming through some of these shopping videos, I just got a little bit of the same vibe, but not always. So there seem to be some good topics that come up. Let's jump into the video. The one we are watching today is I went shopping for plus size clothes in Spain and it was emotional. So at least she is setting us up with a title for her being emotional during this process, which I guess can happen. Let's see what she finds in Spain. We're in Barcelona and you know what happens wherever I go that's new. Yeah, I've got to go shopping. So let's go shopping for plus size clothing in Barcelona. I feel like I always have to stop it like right after her statement. Let's first look up what the average size is in Barcelona. That is only because you can get a lot from that. It's like me going to Asia. I am quite plus size over there. So uh, I am a 12, 14 uh, US being over in Thailand, especially I had a lot of trouble. Granted, I have lost a little bit of weight since then, but Let's see what the average size, what is the, the average size of a woman in Spain is about 5'4". And the average weight for women, I'm trying to see what year this is, but it does state here and I'm just Googling this stuff. It says 146 pounds. So I would be over that weight as well. That is not too bad, but just take that into perspective when going into this. Traveling, you need to be realistic. You are going into other cultures and other places. It is not the U.S. And I think you'll find that the U.S is quite different from a lot of places around the world, especially when it comes to sizing. <laughs> and that goes for clothing, food, kind of everything <laughs> to do with it. We go big here in the US. Her going into this, I hope she is setting herself up for success, especially if she knows that looking for clothing in stores where there is nothing for her or something that she can fit into, if that's a trigger for her, I don't think this is a good idea for a video at all. It can be educational, but I, let's see how she goes about it. I'll shut up. Let's just watch. Mm -hmm. Mango. Pro tip. If you wear biker shorts under your skirt, you can shove all your secrets in there and have it covered. Try to rob me. Okay, so we're at our first store, which is called Mango. You actually can order from them in the U.S., but this particular... I've seen them quite a bit in the UK as well. They have super, super colorful clothing. Always really nice summer pieces. I don't know if I've really checked them out during the winter. The store is supposed to have the largest selection of plus size in it in Barcelona. But this is correlating to some form research I did, and it was not a recent entry. So there may actually be nothing in this store. 
we will find out together. Okay, so I will 100% give her credit for doing research. That is one of my tips that I have when you're shopping overseas, especially when it comes to clothing and you know when your sizing is going to be different from the norm that is there. Researching, finding out the best places, the internet is an amazing, beautiful thing. You need to make sure, especially pre-2020, a lot of things have changed since then. You want to be looking for blogs, vlogs, anything that you see in your research for that area and stores that they are recent. You can maybe even look up the actual store itself and see if they have any recent stuff on their site or even reach out to them uh, if you have enough time ahead of your trip. Great job, Anna, doing research ahead of time. As she said, it wasn't a recent thing that she was reading. I just don't know if it's going to meet her expectations. The joys of travel. Oh, I feel like mango is kind of really her style too like with all the looks that i've seen on her mango would really fit i feel like her vibe <laughs> i was like super nervous there wasn't gonna be anything because i thought it was just this like small line and then they came around the corner and i saw the vast expanse of clothing so i think we're, i think we're gonna be okay a couple thoughts on seeing her um first she needs to get a chiropractor and second are we in texas <laughs> It's odd to me the way she's always like on mannequins and like talking in the middle of the store. It's her filming studio. I think it makes for decent content, but I just wonder what it's like to be someone shopping around her and while she's filming. Very interesting. <laughs> There's nothing here. There's nothing here. I was sure. I was sure there would be something. But no. Still trying. Hold it out for a hero. I have this theory that when I go home and look them up, because there's a couple pieces here I really like and hope are in plus, that I'll find they're not in plus because it feels like one of those brands that only makes beige and neutral clothing in plus sizes. Beige and neutral clothing only in plus sizes. That's surprising to me that she would say that because Mango is, in my opinion, very colorful. That's interesting. I don't really like how she's kind of like assuming something's going to be a certain way without actually knowing. Couldn't she just like pop on her phone and see if the item is available online, possibly if there's Wi-Fi to see if that is true or not. But I guess, you know, she is the fashionista and does in this department know what she's talking about. She's already getting kind of like let down and frustrated. So I don't know if like a whole shopping day of plus size clothing in Europe is really the thing that is going to be good for her mental health. There, I said it. I said it. I said it. So now I'm looking up where our next store is. It needs like a little map. And um, I'm going to hope that they have plus size clothing because... You know. So again, she's doing her research, mapping things out. That is fantastic. A couple other things to keep in mind. Currency. Uh, make sure you know how much you're spending. Uh, this will come up in my other video. I have a couple examples of that. And then you'd be surprised at how much people don't know about the place that they're uh, traveling. But she has another place that she's researched. So we'll see. Mango did it. So we're going to go to CNA, the Spanish department store. Let's do it. Low key. All the Spanish people I asked for like dinner advice told me never to come to Las Ramblas. All of this is in Las Ramblas, Hi, and I understand why. This is a chaotic mess. <laughs> it's probably like a great place to get pickpocketed. <laughs> like, watch your shit here. <laughs> Just watch it very close. <laughs> okay. I personally don't know much about the area. Um, she might be right. You know, maybe don't have a camera out filming either. <laughs> People steal phones or cameras, even electronics. So probably having a, a camera or phone out to record you is probably not smart either if you're feeling that strongly about it, that area. <laughs> oh, they made it. So we are here in CNA and we're going to try to figure out like where the plus section is. There is one. So I just instinctively went up to the higher floor and figured if they did have a plus size section, they'd probably hide it in the back. So I could try to go. ask with some translation. It's being more curvy. There you go. I'm gonna be honest, it's kind of depressing. Well, 
if there's one thing I know how to do, it's polish a turd. To polish them. Well, we found some color. Mm. Yeah. These are rough. And you know, they were like, ooh. People love novelty. Also, she's in a department store, so it's not going to be some fashionista boutique. So try to keep that in mind as well. The shopping that I did in Spain was really fun. I felt like for my size, I was able to find things, but their fashion is a lot different. It's, uh, I would say in Europe, in general unless you're going like high fashion it's a lot more practical than i think what we wear here in the u.s i don't know if that actually makes sense to you guys but it just seems like more practical for like how they are living life over there more walking being outside a lot more than we are typically here in the u.s i don't know this is just starting to go downhill for her crochet collar because everybody loves a bit of hey crochet is in right now crochet on their oversized shirt and wolf out wolf flower floors for when you just don't want to be seen by anyone camouflage like how many different black t-shirts and black pants does one sad woman need it's literally clearly like look you're never gonna get laid you should just like hide your body that's the vibe of this section of clothing I hate my body a little bit more shopping here. It's so damn. Oh my God, then don't do it. Oh, you know what? Honestly, I'm surprised that there's a section and like so much actually. You have to keep in mind again where you're at and what people in the culture are. At the end of the day, it, it, it is a business. If they aren't making money on having plus size clothing out, then, you know, it doesn't make sense for them to have it. And that's just like my business side of things. I know that can be a little bit harsh to hear, but it's true when you're thinking about making money and that kind of thing. I'm getting bad vibes already. Oh no. Damn depressing. I think we should just go to Primark. I love Primark. For the love of all that's holy. Be better than this. This uh, store was super disappointing, but you know what wasn't disappointing? The fact that a dog I pet earlier did the comeback around and just walked by and I got to pet him again. So I that would also make my day. It took any disappointment I had and just washed it away. <laughs> Okay, so we're at our last stop. She does seem like a little bit calmer. I don't know if she's tired, hot, or really frustrated, or just, just a different vibe for her, but she does seem calmer in this video than more recent videos of her shopping. Just primer. We were going to go to some boutiques, but they are unfortunately all closed. Because um, they just decided, you know, it's summer. Let's just not have a store, which is very Spanish. But... <laughs> Okay, true. That is very Spanish. But also, again, it's the culture. You need to do the research ahead of time. Be aware of what happens during the summer there. Do things shut down? There are siestas going on. I'll tell you, Spain is like a whole different world. You are eating dinner at 10 p.m. and the night is just beginning. But you are for sure taking a nap during the day. And it was actually, I honestly loved it. It was so much fun to be in Spain. And I definitely can see myself going there very, very very soon if not within the next year but it is a completely different culture than u.s culture it's what happens when you travel but it's good to get that exposure and things are different and things aren't open 24 7 it's just different um i'm hoping that there's something otherwise this video will i want to go to primark now talking about how sad plus size clothing is in spain <laughs> trying to be positive guys trying to be there just ain't much to cheer about <laughs> too many people, too much stuff. But I'm determined. I'm de that is accurate about Primark. It is kind of a chaotic mess. Always. Determined now. She's on a mission. Do it. This is the only 2X I've seen so far. And it's a Lakers t shirt. And the Primark will have a lot of Los Angeles, New York, Dodgers, Lakers, you know, Chicago Bulls type gear. It's just because that's what they're buying over there. That is very, very common for that store. And the irony is not lost. But interesting that that is one of the items that is that big. It's not lost on me. Disney. I do not have the emotional currency for this today. If you do notice, though, the people that she is around, they're definitely different sizes than she is. It doesn't probably feel good for her to not be able to find anything, but it's just 
the reality of the world we live in, a store isn't going to cater to a very small percentage of people, which is unfortunate um, and which is why the internet is so great. But it's just the reality of the situation. You guys get where I'm going with this. Like she is kind of setting herself up for failure. And I think her expectations were way too high. And when you're traveling in general, not necessarily just shopping when traveling, but your expectation, you need to truly manage your expectations to make sure that you're not disappointed in what goes on. And you need to have flexibility because things happen while you're traveling. Things don't always go according to plan. There are a lot of things you can do to help not set yourself up for disappointment. I just, I can, I can feel it. And we're not even halfway through the video. Oh God. Okay. Let's watch. Oh, I feel Primark like is exhausting though. Like I'm in a sample sale, but I'm still paying full price, but I still need to like fight somebody for a shirt. That's what it feels like. You don't need I'm to fight. I was thinking like, what if my luggage had gotten lost and I had to buy something here? I am so grateful. My and that's like a really good point she brings up and a packing tip. If you are someone that you know is the sizing is going to be completely off in the destination that you're going and to help figure that out, you can do some research. YouTube is a great place for that. Just look up what I did, like the average size of someone in that country. Pack some stuff in your carry-on bag. Just be prepared. It's a good point that she brings up because she might be kind of in a bad situation with that and that really sucks. She brings up a very good point in that when I was playing uh, volleyball, we always, and we were traveling for tournaments and stuff, we always had to pack our jerseys and everything that we needed for playing in our carry-on bags. And I think that's why I kind of got into the habit of if I know that I needed something in the other destination, you got to put it in your carry-on bag just to make sure that you have it there for when you arrive. Yeah, it's just a it's just very good point she brings up. My luggage made it. Oh my god. This is a nightmare. I I found this one quiet corner of the store. And now I'm going to try to find something here because there's nobody here. I mean, is she just looking in the places that she wants to look? I wonder like how deep of a dive she actually went in there. Don't blame her at all for not going through the whole store. When I am in London, I go to Primark like multiple times in a week just to like take on each sections because it can be super overwhelming. But I wonder if she's just, you know, kind of picking and choosing where she is searching to because I have found that there is quite a variety in Primark um, with sizing and they do make quite a few like oversized things too. I would be surprised if she doesn't find something here that she could wear. Oh, look, they have my size in a beige sweater, of course, but kind of cute, actually. Up. We've gotten away from the chaos and maybe we'll actually find something. <laughs> She hasn't even tried anything on yet, has she? An oatmeal cardigan is the best option we have so far. It's only like 95 degrees outside, you know, ideal time mm. for a beige, not beige, oatmeal. Clearly an oatmeal. Or maybe a cappuccino colored wool cardigan. So, great options. Found a faux leather jacket. Cute. Great. I love gray. Now, I'm trying to decide what's worse, a beige cardigan or a gray jacket in 95 degree heat. I know it's pre-fall. I know. I know. But I would just like more than two options. See, I've got my hopes up now, which is a bad idea. I think it's time to just be done. Some things just aren't worth Same. fighting for. And unfortunately... This experience is one of them. So let's she did. No, tablets. she left all her stuff right there. You see, you just put it onto the, the clothing rack right there. This is why Primark is so chaotic. People just get tired, tap out, and throw their stuff everywhere. Oh, God. And forget about the depressing romp I took through the shopping section of uh, Barcelona because they do not love their thick ones here. Well, at least their clothing store stuff. So I'm just going to go get thicker because I already can't fit in their clothes. Let's go. We enjoyed. There's so many things wrong with that statement. We <laughs> our dinner and headed out to Madrid. And I said, you know what? I'm going to try shopping here. Maybe I'll have better luck. Okay. So Maybe. our first store is called Botero's Trunk. And I am hoping to God that they actually have a storefront because it is very un <laughs> unclear on their website. Um, but if they do, that storefront is somewhere in here. This does not look promising. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all, this is, this is a new experience. We're going to go have a new experience. I just made John go up on a different elevator because I was like, it's going to fall. It's so scary. Let's it looks kind of nice, actually. So we might have lost John or he came up the stairs. 
Looks like office buildings. Or office spaces. So, um, we basically ended up in their office. This is not <laughs> actually a store. Okay, funny story. My mom and I did this in South Korea. We were looking for a certain like skincare store. We accidentally went to their offices and we were so confused, but I, I, like, I can't even say anything about this for her because it's definitely happened to me before. It just, I know that feeling of just like, oh, dang it. Apparently they only sell online. <laughs> oh no. Not super clear on their website. But that does kind of track with what she's saying. Only finding plus size clothing in Europe online <laughs> kind of makes sense. Yeah, don't try to shop at this one. Unless you want to shop online, then go at it. Go ham. Now back to ride the death elevator once more. It actually looks like nice office buildings. I kid you not. They're stuck. <laughs> I'm not going to say it. Well, even though we abandoned the elevator because no, <laughs> it let us out on a random floor. So now we're going up the stairs for safety. But I got to see a dog, so everything's great. <laughs> Oh, no, she's going to be upset after this. I should have figured that a plus size clothing store located conveniently next to a sex shop may not be what I thought it was. <laughs> well, no hate, you know, sex sounds like you're not, hating, but it was just um, it was an experience. But that's why I do this, because it's kind of fun to like have an adventure. And I almost got trapped in an elevator. I got to pet a dog. So so as long as she keeps having dogs around this stay is gonna end up great she'll be just fine oh no i'm gonna take it as a win though i still don't have any clothing from spain now we're yeah, going to the more like traditional department stores hmm. which hopefully will have a plus size section i say hope i'll be honest i found like some of the cutest items in a tj maxx in scotland edinburgh so cute just randomly walked in there found some great items clothing shopping in other destinations can be really fun because you see pieces that you wouldn't normally see you see different fashion trends like it can be really fun and for her being like more in the fashion side of things i can see how this would be pretty upsetting because you know she might feel like she's missing out on things and that would be very disappointing but again managing those expectations and really being real with yourself and understanding that this might not work out because this is the reality of the situation there's not very many plus size people in Spain let alone just Europe in general compared to some other places in the world including the US where she lives that's the only downside that I can see about this right now um, is just having like realistic expectations and not be like so delusional to think that you know you're gonna find something at every single store or you are gonna end up super disappointed hopefully because we remember how that turned out in Barcelona where it was like the saddest clothing section in the world so I'm still hoping for redemption. I'm still, I believe, and I want you to believe too, that this is going to work out for me. There's a lot of sex shops around here. You know what? People are having a good time in Spain. And I, she keeps talking about it. So I'm wondering if she is actually a little bothered by it. It's pretty typical seeing that in other countries. That's not just in Spain. I would like to see her in Amsterdam. <laughs> <laughs> she might have some thoughts about walking around in there. <laughs> and I can't fault them for that. Clearly, if they can support this many sex shops, people are having a really good time in Spain. <laughs> so now we're at our next door, El Corte Inglés. And this hopefully or should maybe might have a plus size section into it. I say that. Because we just literally never know when shopping abroad. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and speed up her video. I always forget to do this at the very beginning, but... Uh, I've done my research, but my research has already failed me excessively. So we'll find out together. Let's go. Did she really research or just type it into Google and pick the top things? Sped up music. <laughs> like any good department store, they've hidden the plus size section in the back, but it does exist. And it's, it's an okay I mean, size. It's an okay size. And it's just color. So that's good. Of course, they have an embroidered vest in my size. I don't get why she's dissing on the embroidered vest. I think it's kind of cute. I tried. 
um, it looks like the only thing they have up in the store is up to like a 14, occasional 16. So not my bad. I'm fine US or European or just, like really downtrodden because that was not a great experience. And I just feel like, where do these people go for clothing? Like, what if my luggage got lost and I came here on vacation, I would be able to buy nothing. And I don't want to be mad. I'm not going to go back into that again, but pack some in your carry on. You need to be prepared if this is a realization for you. I wonder if she does that now after this experience. Because I don't think getting angry solves the problem. Why would I, you like, be didn't realize angry? I mean, was for my European sisters. Well, at least my Spanish sisters. I can't speak of all of Europe, but this is rough and it sucks. It doesn't feel good. It doesn't feel good to go into a store and repeatedly feel like there should be something for you there and there's not and sometimes even advertised that there is stuff for you there and there's not i'm trying again to remain positive because i'm hoping that we're going to find something that we're going to salvage it that it's going to be great but right now it's not great and it doesn't feel good i do see her side when being frustrated and just that it's such a letdown i just think about like me going to thailand i literally it was so hard to, for me to find clothes in thailand nothing fit me and then like having the workers like go up to you and be like oh but they're just they're just so blunt and straight up when they talk about your size. It's not a great feeling, but I was so prepared for it. I totally understood that it was going to be tough for me to find clothing. I focused on other types of souvenir shopping or looking for other types of items. I really love like postcards and I've been getting into like finding local art and things like that especially if i know like clothing is gonna be a little bit tougher i think maybe she's bringing to light though too that the european plus size very lacking and maybe that will help some people but i'm assuming people just order online that's it probably just how life how is there so one thing i love to buy when i travel is jewelry and so i found this really cute store Happy Roga online and it's so colorful hmm. and bright and it even has a ball pit so i was like okay i've got to check it out see like check local something different other than like clothing sizes now she's on a good vibe. Exactly what I was just recommending and saying what I do. If I know there's going to be no clothes in my size. Um, I've seen similar designs in other stores. And while I wanted to buy something in country and I love to support local designers, it just felt a little bit out of my price range. So it was fun to see. It was a cute store, but unfortunately not a win for me shopping wise. So I was a, hmm. at a loss as where to go next because I've had a lot of fails on my roster right now. So I decided to go somewhere I knew that I had the best shot, which was Marina Rinaldi. Now they are an Italian brand that makes um, what can be considered the first luxury line of plus size clothing. And what I'm hoping is that A, I'll find something hmm. inside and B, they can maybe guide me to other places in the city to buy plus size clothing. So let's check it out. But in the plus size community, what is considered plus size? I'm curious if it's more like around the 2X, 3X range. Is that more common or is it depending? I'm sure it's depending on the destination and where it's at. Like, is it really common for even US sellers to have? What is she looking for? Like a 5X, 4X? Is that even common? That common? I'm, I'm curious to know how common within the plus size community her size actually is just out of like pure curiosity or and maybe it's more common than i'm thinking maybe there's colorful stuff here though maybe she'll find something yeah oh i kind of like that also no mm. additionally no Okay. I'm in the dressing room and this was um, not the experience I wanted in the store. I thought I was going to come to a place that felt comfortable. But instead, I... See, I think she's like expecting too much from places. Maybe go in expecting you're not going to find anything and just browse for fun. And then if you find something, that's kind of actually how I take on shopping secondhand. I don't really ever expect to find something. But when I do, it's like, oh, yes, I scored. But I don't go in expecting always to find the perfect item or what I'm looking for. Being even like my size. I felt like she keeps trying to get me to buy clothing and that covers me up and not well, show me the items I actually want to see. And Well, then maybe that's where you step in. I'm curious to see what that interaction is as she's actually trying to voice her opinion to her, like she wants to see this. But what I was just saying about, you know, how in Thailand they're upfront about uh, the clothing and your weight and things like that. This could be kind of like one of those situations that's it's uncomfortable, but it's just different culture. They're not used to it. So you just have to be prepared for that. That's weird. Yeah, it is weird. Cool. And shopping in paint Spain sucks. <laughs> mm. I hate it. Like, this is the worst. Um, I felt really great about my body over the past, past couple months, but I get why people don't shop in stores. 
because it can it can take you real fast. So I bought a dress, uh, even though the shopping. I feel like people are not shopping in store just post 2020. It's becoming so much more common just to order online. I think in store is just starting to become a disappointment for everybody. <laughs> it's just a lot easier to do it online. The experience was not ideal. And the reason I bought the dress, and I haven't told anyone, John and Jess don't know yet. Uh, this so is she the did buy a dress. I've ever bought in a non stretch piece of clothing in the last yeah. 10 years. So nice. it's size 22. And usually for not stretch clothing, I'm at a 24 or 26, but I've lost, I guess, a bunch of weight and I didn't realize it. And this is my new size. So uh, as much as this day sucked, uh, I have a little bit of a win. So I'm okay with that. So this is the one item hmm. that I bought in Spain. And you will see that it's very wrinkly. And I'll tell you why it's very wrinkly. Because it sat in the package. Because I've been home, I've been sick, and I'm moving in a week. So this is the first time it's come out of the package. And also, I think I personally kept it in the package. Because that experience in that store was so shitty and could have been so great. Kind of bashing on this clothing brand a little bit. And it's not necessarily, I don't know. I, like, I'm just wondering how deserving of this bashing it is. And she didn't even, you know, take the effort to, like, steam it or iron it. So it just looks a little rough even like just the way she's standing and setting it up it's not normal for her like fashion stuff so i don't think she's happy with it i will say like compared to some of the videos now and the whole bagel gate thing she stayed pretty calm for her during this entire video i thought we were gonna have a little bit of a meltdown basically stated like her disappointment and stuff and this is what i wish i would see out of her because it's the rage bait stuff, the over dramatics, that's really makes me not connect with the content at all. The biggest thing coming out of this definitely was the conversation behind if her suitcase was lost, what would she do? And I think that's such a great takeaway for people from this video. If you are in fear that you might be in this situation, make sure you bring stuff in your carry on. So I think that was good about plus size clothing in other countries. And, you know, it's just different culture. That's going to be an ongoing battle. I think always it's always even here in the US a, a battle. I don't know if that's necessarily going to go away or not, but at least maybe some people are a little bit more informed coming out of this. And I want to just take a moment to like talk about that experience a little bit more. After that store, Jess, which is John's girlfriend, sat and talked to me and she's like, so curious about was John. so mean to you. And I was like, welcome to shopping as a plus size woman. Even when you have money to spend, this dress was that cheap. People treat you like trash sometimes. And even though this looks great. But I don't know if that's necessarily like a plus size thing exactly. How you present yourself when you go into a store, especially if it's like a luxury store and people will, I think Bethany Frankel did this. She went in kind of looking a little more like not polished, not put together, just in sweats and stuff. We all know that she has the money to buy a designer bag or whatnot and they refused to let her in the store. And then she came back and I don't know if she actually bought something, but then she came back. I think she called him out on it or something. It was a very interesting video, but it was... It it's been a while since I had watched that. I don't think it's necessarily just her that goes through these experiences. It's definitely happened. Just judging by how people look, I can imagine different races get looked at differently and you hear stories about that. It's a problem. It definitely is a problem. Definitely something that's not unique to her, but worth a conversation. Great on me. I still got treated like crap. I got told to like cover up and she kept sending me that like could be just floor garments with long sleeves, which is just not my vibe. Also very like, are they really going to know your vibe? Your vibe is definitely a unique vibe and different vibe I, again i don't know if it's something to be like overly upset unless she was really trying purposely misunderstand her and she was really trying to get her style across i don't know why she was even shopping with the person if she clearly wasn't understanding her style she could have just hopefully gone off on her own i don't know how luxury stores work that's too bad though dated clothing just not stuff i would ever wear you can really tell like even from then to now though she has lost some weight because i know she's on her whole journey stuff right now but you you can definitely definitely see a difference in like her face and stuff here. I sometimes forget that even though the U.S. is rough sometimes, it's still a lot better than other places. And honestly, my Spanish girls, I'm sending a hope and a prayer out into the universe that things get a little bit better. But until then, the pickings are kind of slim if you want to shop in person. I mean, she went to what, like four stores, six stores. She did try a variety of different stores too, from Primark to this luxury brand. But she kind of just confirmed like what I was saying too, the US isn't even always that perfect either. So what do you expect when you go to another country that's not as inclusive in general? It's all about perspective and just being realistic with yourself. I still love this dress. I didn't love the experience that I got it in. And I gave money to a system that is not kind of my body 
should have just gone online and bought it, but it is what it is. I now own this dress. It's my first Marina Rinaldi dress. It is a size 22, which is the smallest dress I've worn in a very long time. So it's special to me for that. But beyond that, it's also a signifier of what shopping like a plus size person is. So while it's a really special dress in a lot of good ways, it's also a really special dress in a lot of crappy ways. And that is just the reality of shopping as a plus size person abroad. And you know, Finland was great. Can I just go back to Finland? <laughs> Oh, we should watch Finland next. Day. I'll check you later and peace. I thought there were going to be a lot of like negative. So maybe Finland was um, good. I can't even remember the last video we watched of hers when she's on vacation where she's genuinely excited. Maybe one of the yacht ones that she was on um, more recently. But I don't know. Sometimes it just seems like there's a lot to call out and complain about when she's traveling. It, it's kind of a bummer. And it's funny because I watch mainly just her traveling vlogs too. And it there's just seems to always be something that's disappointing her. That kind of sucks. I want a video of hers where she's super excited about something and happy about the destination that she's in. Maybe the Finland video will be next for her. I don't know why. I am so fascinated by her too. So that's why I'm digging into her travels. Someone traveling, being so open about it plus size too, I think is bringing out good conversations and there are really good things that come out of her videos and people seeing that she is doing it and traveling, not letting it hold her completely back. That's all I have for this glitter and lasers react. Uh, let me know what you guys thought down below. Does she seem a lot calmer than she does nowadays? I don't know. Maybe she's more stressed nowadays. It was kind of refreshing to see a, a more calmer Anna not so over the top. I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Keep an eye out for my video about tips for shopping when you are traveling. There's a lot of things I'm going to cover in that. I'm telling you, learn that currency. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!